What's up, everybody? It's, <clears throat> it's your boy Stevie the Black. That's S T E V W E the Black. I'm back, and I'm here to explain myself. I've been gone for a while. For the for those of you who saw my little funny video that I posted up, it's just a joke. Obviously, I know we're not Super Bowl champions. Obviously, but it was just something funny. Let's just say I haven't forgotten about you guys. Um. These past couple weeks, man, I've been sick, you know, <clears throat> flu going around down here in Florida, you know, I caught it, plus my allergies were acting up at the same time, it's not a fun time, not a very fun time, but I'm good now, I'm back now, as long as I have my little, uh, throat things, uh, cough drops, I'll be straight, but today, I'm here to talk about the Warriors and the Cavs. I figured since it was All-Star Weekend and the R-Star game is today, what better time to talk about it? So, LeBron was recently asked a question of, are, is he and Steph Curry rivals? Or more importantly, are the Cavs and the Warriors defined <clears throat> a rivalry? And LeBron said no. And when I first heard this, he was asked this question twice. And both times he said no. But the first time I heard it, I was like, LeBron, are you serious? Have you seen the two stuff that's been going on with y'all too? What do you mean y'all ain't rivals? But then, when you take it the second time, I had to really think about it, you know? And I had to say, LeBron's actually kind of right in a certain way. And here's what I mean. He named a, a lot of great rivalries from the past, not just in basketball, but in college and stuff like that, <clears throat> NBA, NFL. And it's just like, I get where he's coming from. I mean, if you think about it, the Warriors and the Cavs have met in the finals two years back to back and obviously are on the verge of doing it again. Each team has gotten someone to make their team better to face each other. The Cavs got Kyle Kovar, or whatever his name is, great at three-point shooting. Obviously, that's to compete with the Warriors. <clears throat> the uh, Warriors went and got Kevin Durant. Can't really compare those two because it's KD, you know, but even still... And now there's even trade talks for uh, Carmelo Anthony, which if they get Carmelo, I'm not saying it's a, it's a straight uh, shot at them winning or retaining the title, but it's a, uh, you can be more confident in saying it. <sighs> Drinking my apple juice. But if you think about the finals, when the Warriors won, they were the underdogs. They ended up winning that rivalry. When... The Cavs won last year. You can tell there was a lot of tension. Especially with the whole Draymond thing. Draymond doesn't get suspended. They come back, win game five. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. This season, the Cavs had ended up beating the Warriors four times, three times straight, including from the finals. And that game was closed. But because they don't have a bench, uh, the Cavs were able to catch back up and win the game. Obviously, you saw what transpired between... The Cavs and the Warriors, when they faced the second time at the Oracle, you knew the Cavs weren't going to eat. The Cavs knew, Ty Lu knew that they weren't going to go in there and not come out with the win. Which is why he said, oh, I may not play LeBron in them. But then he ended up playing them. When you say that, when you say, oh, this guy might not play, it's going to be in his mind of, oh, I might not play. So there's no need to go all out. So, and it was a combination of that, and, and, the, and the Warriors needed confidence-wise. Like, they needed to go in there. Had they lost to them a fifth straight time, I think the confidence of, man, even, not even Kevin Durant is enough for us to win. So we all, but first, we all know the Cavs weren't trying in that game anyway. It was more for the Warriors' psyche, if you really get it, what I'm saying here. The point being, and plus the stuff with Draymond and, and the Cavs, here's the thing. They respect each other. They do. Do they like each other? No. And I heard that this year, if the Cavs or the Warriors meet in the finals again, it'll be the first time in NBA history that three, the same two teams have met three years in a row or three times in the finals. And, and, and if that's not a rivalry, I don't know what is. I mean, it's, it's each team responds to a need to beat the other team. The Warriors go out and get KD. The, the Cavs go out and get Kyle Culver. It's It's... Is it a rivalry? Not quite yet. Is it getting to that point? Absolutely. If the Warriors win this year's finals, 
it's a rivalry. If the Cavs win, it was, oh, maybe LeBron's not that good. Maybe LeBron's getting up there in age, basketball age, you know. And this whole talk of the Warriors might not win it thing, I get it. My friend Matt was telling me about it. I've seen people on TV talk about it. Super teams need time to develop. They need more than just one season. They got to the finals, but because they didn't have that chemistry, because they weren't, they didn't play long enough together, they don't always win their, they don't always get it or cooperate together at the right time, at the right moment. Case in point, LeBron, when he got his team to the final with the big three, didn't go so well. So obviously you're thinking, why is that so difficult? It's because they're the Warriors. They're already been champions without Kevin Durant. So with Kevin Durant, you think they just be that much better. And they've already suffered nine losses this season, which is how many they lost last year. I knew going in that they weren't going to be 73 and 9. We all knew that. LeBron, LeBron, Michael Jordan wasn't 72 and 10 every single season. Nah, he was in the high 60s most of the time. And that's what the Warriors will be. They'll probably be like 65, 67, somewhere around there, I think. Might even be, might even break 70. Oh, no, they won't break 70. 65, 67, relatively easy. And if you think about it, who's in first place in both of the conferences? Warriors and the Cavs. The Cavs, this year they got some competition. I'd be shocked if LeBron don't make it to the final, which I'm not saying he won't. Because we all expect to see LeBron in the finals. But... If some team manages to knock off the Cavaliers, I don't think they're going to be beating Golden State because you've got KD, got Steph, got Clay, got Draymond. And speaking of Draymond, I know he's trying to become the defensive player of the year, but Draymond, shoot the darn ball. You can shoot more, you can get more than 15 points. How do I know this? Game seven of the NBA Finals last year. Tell me who had the hot hand. Who kept them in that game? Who was it? Was it Steph? Was it Clay? How about Iguodala? Was it uh uh was it Sean Livingston? No. It was Draymond. Draymond was hot hand. Draymond was shooting them threes. Draymond was keeping them in that game. And had they won that game, who would have been the MVP? It would have been Draymond. So I'm saying all this because I we've seen Draymond with the potential to score more points. I know he's trying to be defensive player of the year, but Draymond, points do help. Steph, yo, man, I know you got KD on your team, man. That's the second best player in the league, man, but you got to step up. With you not being MVP candidate this year, a lot of eyes won't be on you. So if you make butt, if you make it to the finals, they will be. You got to show up in that finals, man. Clay, Clay, Clay be having on and off nights. I know that one night he dropped 60, but Clay, come on, man. Sometimes I'll be wondering about you, too. And KD, I think Stephen A has said enough already about you. Can they win? Absolutely. Will they win? I think the I think the series might go to Game Seven. So we'll see. We'll definitely see if they if the Warriors and the Cavs meet in the finals again, and the Warriors win, it's a rivalry. If the Cavs win, it's a rivalry because it'll be the first time that the same three team team same two teams met in the finals. This is becoming a rivalry. It's not a rivalry yet. So LeBron is right, but he's also wrong when he's saying, nah, we haven't played enough. Oh, y'all gonna play enough, because y'all gonna meet in the finals. Y'all gonna meet in the finals. Uh, This has been the conclusion of this video. Expect some stuff this week, y'all. I'm back now, and I'm feeling much better. So I gotta make it for lost time somehow, right? So that has been the video for today. Um... Expect a couple more Warriors videos. Expect a more couple uh, of different videos this week. But until that time, if you're not down with that, I've just got two words for you. Peace out and let's go Dub Nation.